Hello everyone. Welcome. We're back for part two of Fight Like a Gem episode one. I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry the internet went out earlier. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> it happens. Uh, but, so we're going to jump right back in. Do you need to do any intro stuff? Sorry. No, Sorry. I'm like, no, but I'm very excited to see Blush breaking into the shop. I'm not 100% sure where it cut off on the stream. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure either. Mm. We should, probably um, should have asked that during chat, the break. I probably should have asked this before we went live once. Yeah. Like, say, like, what was the last thing that they saw? Because we had Ruby breaking in, but I'm not sure where in Ruby's break in. Um, well, people uh, were saying, like, is there going to be a song, right? People were asking. Okay, we're flipping the switch. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, the switch. Yeah. That's what you did. You got the switch. You turned flush, off the stream. Flush, flush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. You turned the switch and it turned I was, I was saying that it happened in real life, like Lauren's I mean, thing. Okay. Here's, here's where we play a little bit of a yes and. Um, so you flip the switch and mm -hmm. all of the lights, like, turn on for a moment. Um, and whether this occurs to you as a thing that the lights are supposed to do or not, they seem to be getting like the light bulbs in particular seem to be getting brighter and brighter. You hear like the humming of the fridge gets more intense and more intense. And then all of the lights go tuk, 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 as they seem to be overloaded. And there's like a spark and like a little puff of smoke um, as all of the lights go out. And then the fridge just does that like kadunk, kadunk thing. So. I think and anything blush. else that would have been turned on on I don't know but yeah we'll say that happens. Or the hair stuff starts blowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blush has never been here when it's when it's first opened. Mm -hmm. So that so they're like, this is amazing when it first opens. <laughs> this is a really good show. So just but like now it's all dark inside and like mm -hmm. this is daylight coming in through the front window, but like the the lights are now working. There's some smoke. Yeah, the switch doesn't seem to do anything now. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, they look around, uh, get enamored for a moment at the uh, the weapons, also known as cake utensils. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, what's this? It's a whisk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, these weapons are so good. And um, I've been looking at all of the the kind of junk and like all the, the cake everywhere, or the mess that was described before. And I think they're going to do uh, the move here, uh, which is take a moment. Yeah, you want to take a moment to assess the situation. Mm -hmm. It's a roll plus clarity, uh, and you get to ask some questions. Why am I rolling my worst stats? <laughs> <laughs> You're not fighting anything right now. Hey. Oh, but you get a partial success. So on an eight, you can ask a question. Okay. Uh, do, 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 and then you oh. get to add uh, an environment or character tag to describe the situation. After Ooh. You okay. Uh, what has just happened here? How can I get this person situation to? Okay. Uh, how can I get uh, this uh, situation to change? So like. How can you get it all to work? Mm hmm. Um, I think it occurs to you uh, as a Ruby, this is not your skill set. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not the one who would, would interface with the machine. You protect uh, and attack, um, but you do not <laughs> fix. Tech. Fix. You do not fix. <laughs> um, so you probably need to get someone in to do to do the fix. But you, uh, and, and maybe this is like gem sense is tingling or something. I think you do see like a little something dart in the corner of your eye. It moves. It's like a, like a shadow that moves very quickly and then it's gone. Hmm. The sense that like there's something here, but you're not sure what. They uh, they look around um, and I think, was it a tag you said for the area? Yeah, so you can apply a tag to the environment or to a character. And there isn't a character other than you. So you don't want to apply it. Tags are always, a character tags are always negative, but environment tags are things that you can use or manipulate to your advantage later on by like spending XP and things like that. And remember, you did fail a roll. So you got one point of XP from that. Oh, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I think the tag I'm going to put for this area is uh unstable mm. yeah uh so they look around at, at the dark they see it's not there they stop for a moment realizing that it isn't coming back and then they just kind of say to themselves what would pearl do i should get someone 
Mm, Pax would know. Pax is always good with stuff like this. And they they uh, they go over to the, the vent again. Do they do they sing slightly to themselves? They still they steal a whisk, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then they climb up. Ruby, 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 <laughs> and they they leave the establishment. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, do you make your way back then to the the uh, the base, the gem, the gem foot? I do. Uh, I have the cake and the ball inside the box, and mm-hmm. I, I head to the gem foot to find uh, Pax. Okay, uh, Kara, how's your art going? Who do, who do you maybe try and show your art to first? Um. Well, I'm assuming my mom's there, so yeah. probably her first. She does what all mothers do when you show them your art. I love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, I just feel the emotions radiating off of it. Do you think they'll like it? Of course they will. Anything you make is wonderful. You're so nice. Thank you. I'm going to go share it with everyone else. I think she like waves as you as you say goodbye and like takes the painting that she was making, throws it on like the beach on the ground and like pulls up a new canvas and starts on something else. And she's like, now the feeling of noon. <laughs> yes, I love it. My mom's crazy. Uh, I just take I just take the um, the this canvas that I've put all these pearls and shells on and i'm gonna take it down to i guess whoever's first whoever i see first all right which is probably celeste still right yeah celeste or, i don't I know mean, where pax went pax at this point because you've got all your ingredients yep. i would have been uh in Very in cooking. do we have a kitchen yes we have you, a kitchen i feel like you have something you've repurposed into a kitchen yes so uh I, like that, a yeah, former we'll, lab <laughs> A former lab. Yeah, that sounds right because, you know, we don't have to eat food, but like we Bacara found that does. we, yeah, Bakara does. And then, you know, when uh, Pearl was dating uh, Carl's Car's mom, mm-hmm. uh, then we started making food, you know, because, you know, we, you know, we're trying to accept humans. Yes, humans. <laughs> um, and <laughs> These things, the squish meat bags. The squish meat bags like it when we apply fire to certain things. So it works out. And, you know, uh, Pearl really wanted it done. So we made a kitchen. And so I'll be in there. So I where would the kitchen be located where the lab was, I guess, inside the foot? I don't know. Maybe it likes part way up the calf, maybe. Yeah, I imagine like the 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 foot portion, it, like you know the foot portion is like where like the piloting and like headquarters are, and then the calf it's like layers, like you you like rides up and it's then like an like apartment lab and like a, something else, and then like you know some of your rooms and yeah, oh, and like there's it. like little side huts and mm-hmm. walkways that are built on there. Uh, so yeah, you can choose between the two. Yeah, so Lapis is still working. Uh, Celeste is still working on the the room for no reason, and uh, Pax is in the kitchen. Kitchen. I think I'll bring it to Pax because Pax is the one who brought me the gems and the shells uh-huh. to begin with. So I feel like maybe th- th- that's who I'm br- making this for. Um, and because I, I think that Kara can tell that Pax is a little bit sad about Pearl. And so <laughs> she's holding this. Big canvas behind her back and like walking <laughs> into the kitchen. Hi, Pax. Oh, hello, Kara. Look, I have made the thing you have requested donut burgers. Oh my gosh. It, Do they look like actual like, donut burgers? Well, they're mashed up donut pieces that were double fried. Um, and, you know, there's mangled different pieces of meat, you think? You know, they're not quite chopped off right. There might be a steak Was in it one mangled of them. pork? Uh... <laughs> I, I say that because Bentham's, Bentham's other name is mangled pork. Sorry, you don't know that probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sorry. one of them could be. It's just, uh, like, it's not burnt. I, 
I've learned over the years to make it just, just right. Uh, whatever your preference is, your mom liked her burgers. That's the preference that mm. I know. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> how does my hippie mom it. like her burgers? Probably vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be probably like, like probably soy burger, <laughs> veggie, veggie burger, and like well done, I guess. Well, this is. <laughs> meat <laughs> didn't think that far <laughs> it's okay uh yeah i look at i look at the burgers that look a little not you know they look like they're they were made with love uh cara yes. cara looks at them and is like you made them yes. i was just kind of joking but i'm really excited yes i, I made something for you too Ooh. she like pulls oh. this big canvas over Ooh, shiny. This is going to be great. Wait, these look familiar. Did you make these out of the the shinies I gave you this morning? I take my fork and I just stab it into one of the little burgers and I eat it. And she nods with her mouth full of a burger. Oh, mom, 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 mom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is going to be perfect. We could show the others. I'll look on. There's like spaces on the wall we can kind of hang stuff on or just I find a clear enough area and put it there like a centerpiece almost like I'm if glad. I could just kind of like find it there you go very nice I'm glad you like it I was worried maybe you wouldn't my mom always says that art touches people different ways well if it's made by you then I love it I'm glad well I mean it is a very Nice pearlescent shine. And... I hope that it would remind you of my mother. But not in a sad way. No. It is nice. I just hug Pax. <clears throat> Chop. You're, you're a good human thing. You're a good human thing. Let us bury our feelings even deeper. <laughs> Excuse me, I need a shovel. <laughs> Did you say shovel? <laughs> we might have some shovels. Roll shovel. Roll shovel. No, but yes, no, enough about that. No, this is, this is not, this is your, these are going to be, this is your, today is a pre-day for your day, you know? And so we just need to think about pre-day. Explosions and stuff. Have you have you been working on dodging these things? Not really. You gotta focus on that. I know you always have your head in books and and stuff like that. But 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 what we need to do is work on your reflexes, like this. And then I take one of the burgers and then just toss. <laughs> Can I roll something to try to catch the burger in my mouth? Ultimately, it's your decision um, about whether or not you catch. Uh, no, catch. it just hits me, I think, and gets all over my clothes. <laughs> um, Ruby's good. Yeah, we're going to have to talk to Blush about your dodging skills. You're going to need these in the future. Just not you really never... good at that. What? Blush? No, dodging. Well. Oh. That's why you got to get good at it. It's practice. It's practice, you know? Uh, we could even... Ooh, ooh. I heard about this thing uh, uh, called parkour that the humans do. Oh. I think if we start, we can try to learn how to do this parkour. I don't think I'm going to be good at this. But you know what? I'll try it. But yes, I, I have all the breakfast... Uh, utensils. As I say breakfast, it's like noon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well past breakfast. We should probably get the others to, to have a, a nice meal together. All right. I'll go and get And then Celeste. they can see your beautiful art. I know, I'll go to Celeste. They were working on a room for no reason. Yes, of course. Do you know Lot anything about that room? No. There's no reason to sure? know anything about that reason. Yep, yep, yep. Can I use my pulling heartstrings to see if she, <laughs> if she actually knows? 
Uh, so, uh, not uh, maybe not unfortunately, but the persuade move can only be used on NPCs. Oh, uh, okay. You gotta uh, sort your own problems okay. out. Okay, all right, that sounds fun. I didn't know. <laughs> no, um, I, I I had originally had it that way, and then I was like, no, you have to sort your own problems out when it comes to characters. Okay. Um, I guess then she'll try to convince you. Um, are you sure you don't know? I, really I want know. to know what she's making. Uh, I I know nothing about special things that are happening that has to be uh, with you and the room. Nothing. I know nothing about these things. Oh, look at, look at this. You know, I really like the detail that Wait. you put in this corner right here. You said here. the room has to do with me? No. No, 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 no. Is mm. making a room uh, <laughs> Kara's eyes like welt up. Happy tears. And she hugs Pax again. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, Kara, you didn't hear anything from me because you know how, 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 you know how, 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 uh, uh, Celeste gets, okay? So I didn't say anything. Okay, I'll pretend that I'm really surprised. Yes. Yeah. There. Exactly. Exactly. But mm -hmm. but yeah, random things. You should. We should probably go These get. These are really uh, good. And she put, takes another one of your burgers. <gasps> yes. Oh, don't forget, I pack this special one for your mother. And this one is actually a legit. Like it. It looks like a like maybe some random vegetable put into between the donut. It doesn't. <laughs> She'll love it. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, she's going to love it. I'll make sure she gets it. And I just put it in my gem. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yes, uh, uh, let us let us get it. And then I'll, I guess I'll open up the window the fastest way I can think about. Blush, Celeste. And the reason why Both I was pushing you. pushing Pax to tell me is because Pax is the only one who like really like. I I feel like the ship has a like a like a giant speaker that you can like speak into and then it just like broadcasts <laughs> oh nice i like that. Oh, okay there you go i, I feel yeah. like that's a thing that the ship has and so you like push the button and you're like dinner time or breakfast <laughs> breakfast and it just like echoes across the entire the entire town everyone in town's like ah, oh it's them again <sighs> breakfast. Breakfast morning. <laughs> oh it must be lunchtime already <laughs> they're yeah. calling for breakfast <laughs> yeah oh it's you every, every Every time they use that PA system, my house devalues a little more. <laughs> it just shakes. <laughs> the house shakes. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Blush makes their way. You've all been I, summoned. I think, I think Celeste has finished on the room now. I think it's like it's it's ready and arranged, and maybe there's a couple of bits of furniture like floating on top of blobs of water being moved through into the room now. And, and then she Hello. just kind of drops everything and, and heads through. Awesome. Blush, blush stashes the uh, the items before they meet. Where do you store them? I asked uh, for a reason. I think uh, I store them <laughs> <laughs> near the reactor room now. <laughs> um, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I think I store them like in uh, like a side room quickly because I get summoned okay. quickly. So I'm like, oh God, in this room. Okay. So just like a sort of random side room. Mm -hmm. Cool. No Doors reason. left ajar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Cool. I'll set up. I'm busily setting up plates and not really cleaning so much as like pushing things off tables and making kind of like space because. So I'll help you. Second, we also see we also see the the woman with the hat and the the notebook like following behind you, but now she's got ice cream. <laughs> I had a craving, <laughs> and she's clearly following you. So oh, great. Um, what were you doing, yeah. Pax? Sorry. Oh, Pax is just like because nothing on the ground really matters to Pax because I could just float over it. So they just always proceed to clean things by pushing it off the table. And I think and Kara takes clean. everything that's on the floor and puts them in bubbles and moves them to their like proper location. 
I'm making sod. This is how I set up the table. It's very <laughs> Just the floor. swipe it onto floor. <laughs> you swipe it, it on the floor. That's how you do. <laughs> that was great. Uh, you did breakfast time already? Yes, of course. I have made donut burger. Mm. As, as I emerge, I'm like, didn't we have breakfast last week? Yes, but it is pre-special day for Kara, and Kara has made a request, and this is the ah. request. They're really delicious. And she, like, pokes one and eats it. Oh, oh it's pre-day day meal. Okay. Pre-pre-day. And, and look, this is a pretty artwork that, uh, that I was, that we were gifted for a pre-day. I made Kara. it. For no reason at all. Ah, with the shells. Mm -hmm. Blush the way. looks <gasps> and like sparkles over the eyes, like like a <laughs> blush appears. It's really good. Aww. Did you make this all by yourself? I did. Even with your tiny little hands, it's so good. Mm -hmm. It is very, very peasy. <laughs> Kara like looks at her hands and like compares them. <laughs> like rubies are smaller. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, and uh, Kara kind of looks over at Celeste. Celeste, I also got some information for you. Oh, oh, you did. You talked to you talked to your mother. Yeah, she helped oh. me with some advice on the art, and also, she told me that some humans are tall and some humans are small. They're all different shapes, shapes and sizes, just like gems. Okay, so you could end up being anything. I guess. She said my mom was really tall, and that she is smaller. So, I could be tall or small. That's so strange. This sounds Gems like a kid's always... book. It's <laughs> 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 like your mother is useless. <laughs> <laughs> That's so strange. Gems, like, uh, gems are all different sizes, but that's always, always the size their gem is meant to be. Unless they're in the ground too long or not long enough. It's like saying a peridot could turn into an emerald or something. But just, like, randomly. Blush starts laughing hysterically. <laughs> I feel that would be weird. How does that even work? Because if you're should just be a standard size. <laughs> and you just pearl size. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine a pearl my size? What could they do? <laughs> I don't know that even worked. Why would... You, you'd have to make them like that. Would you that would have weird. to stop, Bob? Is that, is that how it works? I guess they could just shapeshift like that and try and hold that for as long as possible. Oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should try it sometime. Oh, that reminds me. Blush, we do have to work on Kara's dodging skills. Yeah. Mm hmm She threw a... She threw a donut burger at me and I couldn't dodge it. Really? You dodged the boulders this morning. Ah, so I boulders? have to... Do the... Yes, the um, boulders. But what boulders? I did an impromptu training session with Kara. I mean, you threw boulders at her. You could, you could have, you could have hit her. She could have been squished. I was trying to use what Kara's mother has been talking about. What's it? What's it called? Recycling. Recycling. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> I reused the boulders you didn't need. You've got to be careful. Like last time I cut into the stairs, all the humans complained because apparently if they'd been hit by them, they would have like splatted and that's not good. So uh, it might happen to Kara too. We don't know. Um, I'm right. Kara's we fine. tested? I'm, I can hear you all. Oh, well, I'm, yes. I'm just saying you, you've got to be careful because we don't like you. You might not poof like the rest of us do if you get squashed. Also, I should probably tell you the truth, Blush. I was already oh, yes. moving out of the way when you were throwing your boulders. I didn't Even really dodge it. Knew. Oh. Wait. 
Do you, can you? No, but you're a pearl. You can't. Can you tell the future? Did you come across something that acted? Do you think she can tell the future if she moved before blush through the boulder? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe it's a human thing. Oh. I think I just oh. got it wrong. While the three of you are like trying to figure this out, like in your little huddle and cars <laughs> there. Um, what do we think are some like kitchen and or lab related equipment that might be in this room? A toaster. A toaster? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um as you as you're talking, Kara, behind you, the toaster, uh perhaps you are toasting something in it, but perhaps not. Uh it seems to begin to vibrate. It's moving very intently. And then like the spring in it seems to cause the toaster itself to just fly towards you. Um is that talking. while you guys are all talking, she's like, um, is that supposed to be doing And it's going to hit you. Ouch. <laughs> Are we able to like, see to it coming something. or is it just Kara that can see it? I, like... I don't have anything. I mean, all of you can, but you're in engagement and conversation. Um, someone could have the option to defend her. Uh, otherwise, it will hit her. Yeah, like while you guys uh, are talking, I'm like, um, is that supposed to be doing that? I want to I wanna leap into action and try and like uh, stop it. You want to right, try and defend? Awesome. So roll plus cut. That makes sense. Trying to defend someone, in this case, Kara. Yep. And seven. A seven. Ooh. So on a partial success, um, you you will protect Kara, but there will be some cost to you. Um, either you will take negative one condition or you will take the harm or whatever effect instead of them. You get to choose. Think. I think I'll take the effect. We'll see what that is. Okay, so you get smacked by a toaster in the face, uh, <laughs> and I think you will take the uh, you will take the tag um, toasted. <laughs> Excellent. Just got like toasted. Toasted. Toast. Toast. And it hits you in the face uh, as you like get in the way. So um, as you sort of like, however it is. So you just leap up like, car. look out! <laughs> <gasps> Thanks, Celeste. What? Why did that do that? I like I go and grab it and pick it up and it's look like at it. smoking now slightly, and it's like there's a spring and inside, and it's just like popped out the bottom somehow. That's odd. This thing is dangerous. We shouldn't have this in here. Um, it's never done this... that before. No. Wait. Oh, it must be something. Must be wrong with Earth today. What? Or whatever this planet is, I don't know because whatever this planet is, they keep insisting that it's Earth, but it's clearly not. <laughs> if it was Earth, it would be on your maps. Yeah, it would be on our map, but it's not on our map. So this oh, yeah, planet course, must yes. have Earth is Earth is destroyed, but we've got no other words for it, so we'll have to call it Earth. Uh, fake Earth. <laughs> Something's wrong with fake Earth. Um, Earth. Um, <laughs> why do you think there's something when, wrong? When I went to, of course, talking to Michael. The donut slave. Um, the donut he is... <laughs> <laughs> You just call everybody who serves people like like all service workers are just pearls. Like I, ah, the donut <laughs> pearl. The donut pearl. The donut pearl. Um, he was having trouble with his money counting machine. What kind and of when I went over to the ham ham, the meat pearl. Uh, they had trouble with their refrigerator or the cold box and the the money counting machine as well. Hmm, that is so, partic- particularly peculiar. I told them to smack it and it this, didn't work. There is like a, a rumbling <clears throat> in the um, distance. Do you hear and by that? in the distance, I mean like coming from somewhere else in the ship. Um, do you hear that? I do. Uh, Sounds like a large object moving through a space. What the? I run, I run. Let me go check where that is. Hold on. I I follow. (laughs) I grab my fork and I follow. Um, Ruby, you realize you are headed towards where you stashed the cake and the training sphere. (laughs) Oh no. Uh, And you see on the ground in front of you, like as you're getting closer, you see like blops of cake. 
It's a cake monster. I made one of these I, in free realms. It's amazing. So I bend down, just like the, the camera gets all fuzzy, and then I get the black lines on my face, so I get all squinty eyed, and I like dip two fingers in the cake mix. Do you put it on your face like warm? <laughs> I'm like, I smell it, and I'm like, batter. <laughs> Do you put it on your face like war paint? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I just like sniff it okay. and like I lick it a bit and like that's mm, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, maybe because I was doing some work in the cliff again, it made the the foot like drop a bit. It did that once, and I had to like shore it up, and maybe that's made things roll over, and the cake might be ruined. Not a bismuth or a peridot. <laughs> Why do you keep being the one working on the cake? On the, the thing? Uh, <laughs> I don't I'm, know. I'm a terraformer. That's what lapises do. They they terraform, and then the bismuths tell them if the thing they've made is stable. You are making I me interpreted the lapises as like powerhouse destructors. You haven't seen future yet. I have no, no, I haven't. <laughs> Mm, it's good. Uh, you were making me a cake for my birthday? Uh, uh it's what you said you wanted. A cake ball. Aww, that's so nice of you, Blush. And she just hugs you. <laughs> I like hug you back. But I, I, as I go to hug you, there's like, uh, I hear Pearl's voice. And it's just like uh, Pearl saying to uh, Blush, get down for some like old thing that happened. And then they kind of don't fully hug you all the way. And then they put an arm on your shoulder. Hey, of course. I, of course. I wanted it to be special for you. Well, I think it would be special, even if you're just there. What do you think this <laughs> cake happened to the cake? I don't I go know. look for where I think it rolled. You think oh, so is that hole? Rolled? You just see it's like it's like like splats of cake. Like it's it it's been it's dropped or like sloughed off of something. Uh, and oh, there's so like a trail. Let's go follow this trail. Well, <laughs> at least it's easy to find. And we just like follow the cake trail. You've been following that cake trail, and as you do, the sounds that you were hearing before, that sort of rumbling, that echo that was kind of clanging around, uh, is it seems to be getting louder. I dash still, towards them. Is it still moving? I don't I don't feel the, the, the ship is moving. I don't know. I'm going. Whatever and it is. As while Ruby, we're walking, I'm lush. scooping up cake with my fork and eating it. So good. <laughs> so yeah. good. <laughs> um, Ruby, as you are uh, barreling your way to the source of this sound, uh, you come across a like one of the ship doors that are closed, um, and the cake trail kind of like ends at the door, and behind it is where you hear the sound of whatever noise it is, something clanging, moving around in there. Um, and I think before you can like open the door or realize, it gets like slammed open, and just a mass of tentacles uh, just leap towards you. Oh no, my own oh. device. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, make sure there's no one there and I'm going to like defend myself. Okay. Um, so you can't defend yourself. Someone else can defend you. Uh, but mm. I will let you fight for what's right if you would like to. Uh, yeah. First. So okay. as it uh, gets close to me and I see these tentacles shoot out, uh, I step back and uh, as I put my hands up, uh, this like red uh, kind of uh, sparkles appear and it, uh, we see an Iswasa, which is a kind of like a Sulu kind of staff knob weapon and it pops up in front of me and it's all like dark crimson red. All right, uh, for what you believe is right. Roll plus cut. All right, roll. This is something you're theoretically good. <laughs> you spoke so soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you're yeah. cut. Did you just roll two ones? Oh, you rolled uh, one and a two. Oh, uh, wow. I have expend. I have the expendable. When you act with uh, disregard for your own well-being, you take one tag to upgrade your roll result by one category. If you would like to do that. Um, yes, you will absolutely. have to have a consequence because you're acting with disregard to your own well-being, but you can upgrade your role result. Yeah, to um, partial. 
Okay. So with a partial success, you get to choose one. Um, there is some cost to you and then I'll add an additional one, um, which will be in this case, you're going to be restrained. So like you're able to do some damage to it, but like the tentacles like pick you up and grab you. Um, yeah. So you take the minor tag restrained and then uh, choose either take negative one condition um, or uh, you're left open to a counterattack or you're left in a disadvantage advantageous position. Uh, see. Which you're kind of already. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think I guess then open to the to the counter. Oh, uh, take minus one condition. I suppose take one minus one condition to lose my condition okay. that I have, which is confident. Okay, you, maybe your confidence is a little bit shaken in this moment. Mm -hmm. So as you, uh, but you, however, do get to apply a tag to your target. So as I kind so of bash into one of the tentacles, um, kind of like a spark comes out, uh, and I think it is, uh, so it's disorganized from like the jolt and the hit. Oh yeah. So so a couple of the tentacles grab you, but like some of the other ones seem to like fritz out and like go like and and seem to not be operating properly. Yeah. One thing that I will give you though that you do notice this thing is much larger than it was when it was like a you know like a yeah. sphere that you could hold and it's now like the size of a person like it has gotten bigger somehow like it seems to have expanded i've made this too efficient it's been optimized oh, no <laughs> so okay, you just so, uh, uh, disordered or what what was the tag you gave it disordered. uh disorganized yes. okay all right it it's still got some other tentacles though, and it's it's got you grass, so it's just gonna keep holding you. Uh, and it's probably gonna who else is there? Is it Kara and is everyone else there? I'm, I'm following. I'm, I'm yeah. definitely gonna be leaping in when I see that there's there's danger. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I think some of the tentacles are just gonna go, the ones that are working are gonna just go directly for whoever would be first behind Ruby, which my impression was Kara. Um, I could be last. It depends on last. what order. Okay, so do we it makes sense it? for the gems to be first, and I'm last because I'm eating all the cake. That's like true. I'm keep eating the cake trail <laughs> as we're going. <laughs> uh, that's true. You were you were eating the cake trail. So you think Lapis is next? Sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. Lapis. Lapis. What do you want to do as it's whoosh, whoosh, coming towards you? Uh, like I'm, I'm gonna other. try and. I'm gonna try and fight it too. I'm going to uh, deploy my gem weapon, which is uh, re reach into, into my shoulder and, and pull out uh, a kind of a, a baton uh, with a uh, a blue ribbon uh, I've been extending dancing. out of it. Yay! Yep. So pretty. That, like water. like that like flutters and just like water just kind of hangs wherever it wherever it travels. Um, but, but then she's gonna kind of wind back with it, like spin it around a bit and <laughs> lash it out to try and lash onto the tentacles and wrap them up. Yes. All right, five for what's right. And I'm kind of average at this. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, Blush was supposed Seven. to- Seven! Hey! <laughs> so a partial success, same thing for you. You can apply a tag to the target. Um, however, something negative will happen to you. You can take a negative one condition, you're left in a disadvantageous position, or you're left open to their counterattack. Am I choosing the tag that gets applied to it as well? Or uh you do. Yeah, you get to choose the tag. Okay. Um I, I, I want it to be kind of wrapped up, so like restrained, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Restrained, that works. Okay. Uh and then I want to. Um, be left open to a counterattack. Okay, beautiful. That's one of my favorites. So as you, as you <laughs> wrap this whip around it, it, it gets all wrapped up. It's got like some tentacles that are, are like jolting from whatever charge uh, blush wrapped through them. Um, and then it's got some that are coming at you. And, and I think you miss the ones that are like launching at you. And so they just like, I mean, I think at this point you also get grabbed um, and see so you will also take the, the, the tag restrained. So like you and Ruby are now okay. being lifted and you're going to have to do something to remove those tags before you can take other actions or someone will have to help you as you're like lifted off the ground and like it's just this writhing mass of two gems and some like <laughs> tentacles. Um, so Pax and Kara see this. Yes. Um, and that do you grabbed. do anything before either Ruby or Lapis try and break free of their restraints? Uh, I will. 
Or do you want me to go first? No, I said you can you go first, go? Pax. Okay. Uh, I think for... Uh, uh, so Pax to see this all happening. So they're like, okay, uh, I have to distract it somehow. So I'm going to try shifting to the opposite side of, or like, you know, shifting to the opposite side of where Ruby and uh, Celeste are. And then uh, whatever tentacle is close enough to distract it with, I am going to pyrokinesis. it. I'm going to set it in flame. Okay, you want to set it all on fire? <laughs> yes, do now, it. This is where we realize if you're an a... off-color sapphire. Uh, sapphires yes. normally have cryokinesis, but for you, we kind of um, mix and match. and some special of the specimen. You are a special sapphire. Special um, also, sapphire. I, I forgot that you already had the tag toasted. So this isn't a mild tag. This upgrades to moderate. So you have. Yes, you have, I'm, I've yeah. already got two tags out of three. Also, um, yeah. uh, Lauren, did you put. Uh -huh. um, I know you were saying you're going to have a handout with the other moves, like the basic moves. Oh, yeah. The, I haven't added it. Let me add that real okay. fast to um, as a handout. Uh, Yay. They're on page 11 anyway. Quickly. Yeah, I didn't know if, the, if she already had it in there and she just didn't share no. it with us or what. I hadn't and I forgot. That's it okay. 11? Oh, no, it's 10. I like that this thing has two of us wrapped up already and Pax is yeah. like, you know what this situation needs? <laughs> fire! fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's one yeah. of my favorite things. Um, we might be fireproof actually, right? Would you right? say that we have hot feet? I mean, you'll find out. So, uh, <laughs> what, uh, what do you even mean? Yeah, because we're in a hot. giant foot. I know, but what does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I got a nine, which is the power is not quite under control. Just like, right? Oh, All right, so basic should. moves are, are now in there as a handout. Okay. Yay. Okay, so with a nine on your pyrokinesis. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, a seven to nine, not quite under your control. Choose one. The flames are larger and more taxing than intended. You'll take minus one condition. The flames explode into being, injuring all nearby, including you. Add tags as appropriate. Uh, or you set fire to the area at a relevant environment tag. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be in like this barn, right? That's you're you're the in side. the base. You're oh, in, it's in the yeah, base. Yeah, you're in your foot. Okay, we're in the foot. Uh, so, because it's stone, that wouldn't work. Uh, I just I say mean, that plenty the... of equipment and things that can catch on fire. Ah, yes. Uh, um, let us say that yes, there now there is stuff on fire that was inside the random that happened to be like a storage room. It was like a random storage room. Okay, great. It was a random so, storage room. So I'm going to apply the environment tag to this room, which is on fire. On fire. Uh, <laughs> I helped. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this room is 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 pretty toasty now. Um, that might make it more dangerous for like Kara to be in there. Yeah. But you do get to tag the uh, the the creature um, because you got a partial success. Yes, uh, I'm so. gonna tag it with uh, like it's already. I think panicked, like more panic because it's flames. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so we, it's, it's kind of panicked and actually I think that's great. Uh, so as, you, as you, can I also have the like? panicked because I feel like I'm going to panic. Yeah. What does it look <laughs> like when you pyrokinesis this room and this creature? That uh, for me. I guess it, for, for it is just like, uh, the pearl just stands there like looking or not pearl, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> Pax just stands there looking really hard at an area, you know? Like it's yeah. been a while, but I can do it if I just stare, and then it's like a like a beam almost, like a like a like it tentacles out or not tentacle, but like, like splashes fire, out fire trail. Yeah, fire trails in to where I was aiming at, but of course I went like maybe a little bit. I looked maybe off oh, to the wide. side for a second, and then it went. Eh. I like to imagine maybe like the beam like hits something and then bounces and then bounces a few times. And so like it like catches fire to several things in the room and then hits the creature or hits, hits the, the training device. Um, and it, you hear like it, like it hiss almost like it's like steam and it like hot air is sort of escaping of it. But in its panic, it sort of rushes out of the room um, as like a final thing past Kara and Pax. Um, and uh, it's going to knock the two of you over. Um, unless you kind of do something, it just sort of knocks you to the ground. It like travels as far as it can on the hallway as it like begins to to deflate and then just sort of like collapses on the ground and like the tentacles let go of Lapis, uh, Celeste, and Ruby. Can I throw myself in front of Kara? Try and stop it from knocking her down. 
Yeah. Yeah, you can you can um roll to defend. Uh and that is action. Oh god, I have a minus on this one. It's gonna work. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Woo! Do it. Do it. Sapphires aren't built for fighting, but it doesn't matter. But you win a ten. You keep them it's safe because and we're friends. Are so, how, do you, how do you keep her safe and you also don't take any con- consequences from it? Uh basically I'm function. just gonna do that like uh uh, kind of like a like a shooting float kind of thing, like it's almost like Matrix looking. <sighs> Grab them and just like roll against, like it, like roll with the creature running by. So it just kind of like instead of smashing us against the oh, wall, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. roll power roll it rolls at power rolls. Um, so you, yeah, you, you protect her. Um, the room, however, is on fire, so you're gonna have to deal with that. Um, but the the creature has also the 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 device seems to have deflated down to its normal size, um, and uh, I think probably Lapis and Ruby might see this. Something uh, moves off of it, like kind of like a small little shadow seems to to like flit away really quickly. Uh, there it is so again. There's a fire. There's a shadow flitting away. If you want to try and do something about We're- it. Were you grabbing the, the, the tentacle creature or me, um, Pax? Just so I, me? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think then uh, Kara just says, thank you, Pax. You're welcome. We should probably Kara. put out this fire. Hmm. Is yes. The, is the monster still being monstery or is it just kind of stopped? The device seems to have reverted back to being... Okay. Just the device. I mean, it, it it is because it was like it was a training device, so it's like weakly trying to like tentacle you now. But like it's like small. Yeah, it's like ugh. it's like trying to grab your ankle. Um, I'm gonna try to put out the fire if I can. Okay, how do you want to put out the fire? With a fire extinguisher, like a human would. Do you have a fire extinguisher? I'm on? assuming that there's a fire extinguisher in this place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could say that there is, but we could also just have you roll to pull one out of your gem. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, yeah. do that. I love that idea. Like, let's be <laughs> honest. Do we think the gems have a fire extinguisher? No. It's cool. No. It's cool. Yeah. I imagine it's like <laughs> yeah, a portal. I'm, I'm the fire extinguisher. Yeah. 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 yeah I imagine it's like a portal. I put my hand through it, and my mom mm-hmm. probably sees my hand come through and pull like our fire extinguisher. I'm probably going to pull something else out that's not a fire extinguisher. We'll find out. So you're we'll going to roll, uh, and I think you're rolling plus four. Luster. Yes. Your magic. Luster. Yes, it's magic. That's, That's funny. the magic. Wait, so, so you might get a fire And no modifier is correct. Um, not unless you have uh, insecure or confident as a condition. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, 12? Well, you get a 12. So with a full success, you pull out like the best fire extinguisher that you possibly could. And you do it quickly enough that like the fire doesn't spread at all. Do you want to... Uh, so is it, yeah, it's like a big one. Yeah, I kind of like look at Pax and then I'm just like, we should probably put out the fire. And then she's like, yeah. <laughs> and I just like pull out this giant fire extinguisher and then just like spray everything down. It's great. Also, all of you, you're all like covered in that weird stuff from the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Like, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I like... got it. And then <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this weird powder. <laughs> Like the, the, the fire extinguisher dust. I think I got rid of the fire. I guess you did. At least it means everything's not going to be drenched. Yeah. Um, and then I put the fire extinguisher back. <laughs> like my hand goes through the portal thing and puts it back like where it was. Celeste. It's been used uh, now. Josh, are you guys <laughs> need okay? a new one. <laughs> your, your mom picks it up, puts it next to the pile of used fire extinguishers. <laughs> <laughs> replaces it with a new one. Perfect. I mean, I think technically they're stored in your gem, but we can also say it's a portal. I kind of like the idea that I just pull stuff from other places. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Blush definitely, um, as this is kind of happening, definitely gives Celeste a look and then kind of darts off to where the uh, shadow is. They're just going to say, Ooh. I saw it before. You're trying to follow the shadow. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The shadow. Uh, I'll, how are I'll you follow Pax follow or Blush even. Because it seems very quick. Give you a what, sorry? How are you trying to follow it? it it's very quick and flighty. Hard so I think what I'm going to do um, is kind of track where it went. And oh, I kind of want to use action here just to kind of... Mm-hmm. Um, 
break through some walls, kind of jump over things. It's very park, very parkour. <laughs> what are you doing, Maggie? <laughs> <laughs> this is how we learn. I was making a shadow. Oh, the shadow. <laughs> the shadow. Um, okay, so yeah, you're being you're being action Ruby. Uh, mm-hmm. But then, like the side of like the the inner walls. <laughs> <laughs> And did you say Celeste is following you, or? Yeah, I guess I can take a different approach, and I can like take flight and see if I can. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess we're in in the foot right now, but if it's heading like towards an exit, I can get a, like a bird's eye view. Yeah. Quick to the calf. So as you as you begin to follow it, you realize you're sort of heading um, towards the heel, kind of down uh, down, and then seems to be going. Uh, and I think you you are able to like see occasional glimpses of this thing. Um, and it, it just looks like a shadowy sort of blob. It's kind of hard to tell what it is because it's very quick. Uh, but it's definitely heading to the uh, the like cockpit, the 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 the, he- the, the bridge um, mm. where your where your escape pods were, but also like where you pilot the thing from. Yeah, what's that part of your foot that like is right before your toes, like the it's pad? Like, it's 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 your it's your like yeah, like whatever that part is called, the pad. The, yeah, the the ball of your foot it's like it's like this this that part, part yeah yeah there, i don't know what the name of it is but i know what you're talking about i, like I sit like that. a gremlin so i can just show you my foot pretty much all <laughs> i sit like, indian style too i'll get like, i'll get a like i'll it. get white i'll get a red like sock for next week and then i can like model <laughs> your, your your spaceship <laughs> you're like, and you're you here <laughs> no expense spared <laughs> you just need a mannequin foot cool. now Oh, so, yeah, well, one way to make a map. Arm. Why didn't we pick an arm? That would have been easier for me. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh. So that's we gotta been make done it already. Like, because yeah, yeah, it's like true. we've had the green hand ship, so we needed the red foot ship. Yeah, red foot. I that's only true. have a random head floating around. <laughs> <laughs> we all have okay, weird we? stuff, no. <laughs> but no feet. We have everything but feet. No yeah. feet. Dang it! I've got lots of skulls of like you. different creatures. I have a lot. My foot might be red with this color shift. I'm not sure. Do you have a blue? I guess, that's right. I guess I could do blue sock, but like color. Anyway, um, so <laughs> you are headed to the bridge um, of your ship, your sort of control center. Uh, and I'm not sure how, uh, that's a good question. How operational is your ship? I assume not operational enough to fly anywhere. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, I, I would guess that like something got broken that means we can't fly. And so, we've But I'm assuming we have like a portal that we can portal to the different places. The warp pad? Yeah, the warp pad. Mm. Yeah, you probably do. Um, but yeah. maybe it doesn't like work to go all the way back to homeworld or anything like that. It'll mm-hmm. only go to like other ones on Earth. Just in yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely not. Well. Like we, we, we may know that there's a homeworld uh, warp, but it's been broken and we have no idea why. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I yep. totally didn't put a sticker on it. <laughs> yeah, I totally you, didn't maybe you've never been it. to it and you, <laughs> you can't find it anymore because because you have no idea because again <laughs> you don't think you're on earth nope we're not on earth it's like for some reason this this weird planet like we, i don't know fake earth just here we just haven't terraformed yet <laughs> yeah, hmm. yeah. Like, oh, i guess they missed it <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we're here oh well uh we're in the bridge so you make it to the bridge and as you sort of make your way into the room, you see the the shadow, um, and and the term shadow is maybe not entirely inaccurate to describe it, but it does look kind of like a small sort of floating dark. Uh, actually, it's not a super dark colored orb. It's like a little bit. Um, it sort of seems to shimmer slightly. It's kind of a vaguely greenish color, Ooh. and it's got like one little like. I would say it's a tentacle, but it's more of just like a like a. It's like a proboscis almost. It sort of like seems to to be like a like a hand or something that it can kind of like malleable shape. Um, and you do catch like a slight uh, sparkle on it. I think this one probably has it on like the side of its head. It's a, a green sort of cabochon sh- uh, shape, uh, light green with a sort of glint of, of light sort of stretching across it. Um, and what it is doing, um, and you can't see the front of it, but there seems to be some sort of like light and it seems to be reading. It's pulled up some sort of display on the ship and a bunch of information is just scrawling past it. Stop. It's a gem. What? It's a gem. Uh, I... 
And I think it's like little like proboscis tentacle thing is like connected. It's like on on the the console. I can like stop. identify. Yeah, either way, yes. Don't do don't do that. Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna move up to it, and I'm. Does gonna someone try want and, to like... roll to persuade it? To I stop? I will roll when I get there, but I feel like Celeste yeah. and Blush should have an opportunity to do something, and then Pax mm-hmm. and Kara will get there after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I think That's Celeste nice. just like goes up to it and like puts a hand on its shoulder and tries to turn it away from the console. So as you as you go up to it, you see the front of it like one big eye, and it looks like kind of like a cat's eye almost. It's sort of like large and round with a single slit. It's only got one, um, and it's like shining. The light is like a slit from it, and it sort of seems to be scanning everything that's like popping up on this display. And then as you turn and you put your hand on it, the light like turns to you, and then just does this like scan up and down you. And like I just kind of look up and down at the same time. I was like, what are you doing? Who are you? Don't touch that. Identify Unoptimized. yourself. Optimized. Excuse and then me. It turns back to the ship. Optimizing. Uh, I think, like, Ru- I think Ruby's just... gonna go and grab it and like kind of fling it off the uh, the hood. Okay, go ahead and uh and and yeah, roll roll to fight for what's right. It's gonna run over to it and it's gonna be like, that's not very nice, and throw it off. Or attempt to with my rolls. We'll see what happens. You're yeah. supposed to not be bad at this. And then <laughs> you partial success. Um, so you you can successfully grab it and like fling it across the room, but there is some consequence. Uh it will get to do something to you. Uh, either left open to a counterattack, disadvantageous position, or minus one condition. Uh, so I think um, I think I'm going to pick disadvantageous position, and I think okay. that I'm right on the console near where we see the opening, and because we crash landed, there's no glass, mm-hmm. so there's like mm-hmm. a big area where I could like potentially fall out of. Okay, um, so yeah, you. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was lodged into the side of the into the cliff, so the the goes directly in, into the cliff. This probably is like a gaping hole still. Yeah, we'll say there's a hole. There's totally still a hole. It's not very safe. It's, it's a room. Side. It's a room. <laughs> there's, a, there's a panel missing in the floor. We forgot. Like we um, had to use it somewhere else. So you, as you, as you grab it, um, and you're sort of about to fling it, I think it wraps its uh, little like thing around it, and because you're trying to pull it away, and it sort of, like grips onto you, kind of like like a way like a snake or something might constrict and grab onto you. Uh, and it does the same thing to you. It, it'll actually, and this is a disadvantageous position, but this is the thing that Lauren will store for later. Uh, it seems to run the scan up and down you. And, and it just says, disoptimized. Rude. <laughs> yeah, rude. And then it flings and lands um, <clears throat> on, the, on the ground. And it appears to sort of like the light turns off on the front. Yeah. What was that thing? So it's it's just kind of lying there now, or? Uh, I think you probably, I think it poofs, and so it's just the gem. Like you slam it hard enough. Oh. It's not very uh, strong on the. Back. I guess car and packs make their way into there. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk it? up to it and pick up the gem. It was a gem. Uh, yeah, I like, and I try and identify what kind of gem it was. Ooh, take a moment. Okay. That's the situation. Clarity. I've got a plus Can one I help with this? Calm. Can I help? Yeah. How would you help? Um, I don't know. I guess examine it. Um, are you going to help with actions or words and feelings or quick thinking or strange powers? Um, then you're going to roll to help. Maybe strange powers. I like that idea. That sounds fun. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So tell me about how these strange powers work. So before Bentham, before you roll, um, Maggie, you'll roll the help move. I think it's like not plus even... Low really uh kara it's pearl okay like the so what it's happened? like you know like when you when there's like in the back of your head like you know something and just like you just she just like blurts it out like not that she really like remembers she's like how did i know that type okay of thing. okay um so yeah roll your help move and we can see how effective it is it's not effective it's not <laughs> effective what do you blurt out <laughs> 
what color is it? What does it look like? It's kind of a yellowish green sort of color. Um, it almost looks like a, a like a cat's eye sort of. It's got uh, sort of striations in it, and then it's got one sort of line of light where the cabochon like hits it. Okay, I know what it is, but I'm just gonna yell emerald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Emerald. yeah emerald, <laughs> I think it might be emerald. Uh, so it, it, uh, Kara mm. is less than helpful for you so go ahead and roll Celeste without it I'm like emeralds are very judgmental <laughs> okay I do get a plus one because I'm calm right now so that's nice a seven, <laughs> seven. <laughs> I mean I think we know what your question is uh, yeah, what is the gem? Uh, it is a chryso barrel. Oh. But I think that also doesn't, because you don't have any more like information about it, that doesn't mean anything to you. You're like, yes, I know what type of gem this is. I cannot remember what they're supposed to do. It's, it's a, it's a chryso barrel. I've never met one of those. Well, did you ask it? What are they it? even for? Well, did you ask it? What it I was doing? Did just... Not really, it just tried to use the ship, so we told it to stop, and then it said we were unoptimized. But if they were a gem, wouldn't you want to talk to them? They didn't much seem I interested in talking to us. I don't think I know us. about bad gems. Yeah, yeah. And Cara, oh yeah, does Cara know about gems that have been corrupted? Or whatever it is, like, you may not also know what it is, because you showed up on this planet and there are gems that don't seem to work right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Hmm. But you weren't here for the context of like why the gems don't work right. No. Uh, yeah. So we so we're like, oh, I just like that. And so, oh, he didn't much seem interested in in talking to us. I think he just wanted the ship, really. So you know, can't let it have that. It was scanning the ship and said it was optimizing it. Well, isn't that a good thing? But it also was saying we're not optimized, and I I take offense to that. Don't just yes, anything I... this thing's going to say about optimization. No, I'm exactly optimized. I like smash something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure. exactly like a leper should be. Okay. Splash some water. <laughs> <laughs> I, look at, I look at Pax and I'm like, I'm just not going to say anything. No, yeah. I mean, everyone, let me, like, can I, can I see it? I'll hand uh, it over. Yeah. And then, um, because it's chaotic, kind of chaotic. Can I attune with it really quick Ooh. to see just what it was well, like? Why? I mean, you two can take a moment. Um, did you uh, take the uh, sapphire move that allows you to? No, you didn't. You very explicitly did not take future vision, which is the one that allows yeah. you to use luster. I specifically <laughs> did not take yeah, that Yeah, we made one. an exception for you to specifically not take future vision as a sapphire. You're like yeah. a odd version of a ruby. Yeah. Can I help? I mean, you you all can. I think at this point, um, we should probably take so, like do something else besides just like having you all roll. Like I think maybe uh, narrative like researching. Like, Maybe doing some research or something yeah. like that before you can, uh, and I can mm. kind of feed you some more information. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. Kara's um, like, well, is there another place where you have information on gems? Uh, Theoretically, somewhere on the ship, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. There's a whole computer on the ship. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I would know. I would know about it. Yeah. Pearl was like, really of course. Good using it. Yeah. Pearl is, I mean, your, your mother was really good at using these things. Well, maybe I can figure it out. I guess I just follow Pax to the computer. Yeah, we don't necessarily want it touching. Do I, like, I'll just put it in a little bubble sphere. Yeah, you bubble it. You can all, that, that's the thing you can all do. You can all bubble. Okay. I assumed so. That's how I was bubbling and moving all of the <laughs> stuff she kept throwing on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you um, pop the Chryso Barrel into a into a bubble. Mm -hmm. Usually if we encounter a new gem, we just ask Pearl and then she had like a song she'd sing that was like what each gem was and, it, and I, I don't remember it. This is a Chryso Barrel. <laughs> there was a good rhyme against it too. It yeah. helps you when you're in peril. <laughs> well, Celeste, we don't have Car's mom 
anymore. And so we just need to figure this out on ourselves because we are independent and we can do these things. Um, and, and it is fine. And yes. Well, I might be able to help. And maybe yeah. I can learn some songs too, Celeste. Mm -hmm. Can I, can I assist them emotionally? Voice. Is there a way for me to like reach out to them? Yeah, you can try and get in sync uh, with Pax. Yeah. We can help them feel better. So you're going to roll plus facet. Okay. And if I have sync with them, do I get a bonus? Sync bonus? doesn't apply right now. Okay. Sync is for when you uh, when when I, become a giant woman. When we become a giant woman. Okay. 11. 11. Yeah. So in fact, both of you can gain plus two condition or mark one Ooh. XP. Ooh. I want XP, but it's going to take forever to get any XP. So, um, not if you farm, get in sync. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just put calm, I guess, for me. I I'll think... calm down a bit. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and you said we get one, we can get one, um, what do you call it? Condition or whatever? Yeah, you gain plus two conditions. So you can either take two positive conditions or remove a negative one. I think I'm going to be inspired and confident. Like, I'm being inspired by my mom, and I'm semi-confident. Sure, I can learn some songs and learn about gems. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be easy, right? Just Aww. beep boop beep boop buttons on a machine. It'll be great. So yeah. you head over <laughs> to the... You head over to the computer. The one that the uh, the Chrysler Barrel was interacting with, and uh, what do you do? <laughs> I like grab Pax's hand and like hold uh, her hand, and then um, I'm gonna start the machine up and look at see what I can find. Okay. Okay. Um, so you begin, you've been crawling through. I think the first part of just like entering Chryso Barrel and and like searching into the system, it might take you a little while because I don't. Have you ever done this before? I like the idea that I haven't because that'll make okay. it more fun, right? So it's a it's a little bit complicated. In which case, um, I will let you roll to take a moment. Uh, oh, I like that. Yeah, because I think there's there's some other things you might notice, and then we'll kind of get some information out of the system. So that's clarity. You... Yeah, close clarity. Although you, I believe, took a move, right? Um, From the human playbook. I have pulling heart. Oh, that's pulling heartstrings. You didn't yeah. take gut instinct. No. Humans can also roll. Uh, just be like, I don't know. I think this is right. They can roll plus facet. Oh, that's cool. No, <laughs> I don't have that. Plus. Humans are essentially the only ones who are good at feelings, and the gems are all bad at feelings. Oh, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm very good at the feelings thing, I think. So that's what I've been trying to do. Okay. Yeah. So I will so roll, roll plus clarity. my clarity. Six. So. <laughs> okay. Um, XP then? You could uh, spend a point of XP to upgrade your roll result if there is a tag you could use. And I, I don't, don't have think a tag. this room has a tag. Mm. Or this situation does. Mm -mm. Mm. So you uh, pull up stuff in the computer, but um, I think what you all notice, and maybe the rest of you can see this too, even if you weren't ones that interfaced with the technology very often that was like normally like pearls thing mm -hmm. um everything seems to be like she's like trying to pull stuff up on the screen but it's all like blinking and flashing there's like warning lights there's uh there's like text popping up and then gets scrambled somehow almost as if the the onboard computer is maybe not functioning um quite as well as it could be um and then you 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 see one like big warning light Turn, uh, pop up which you would recognize as like the engines uh, there's something that like something tried to turn them on well I didn't find anything about our gem here but it looks like someone was trying to start our engines that's and there's all this diagnostic information that's just like scrolling up and then as you discover that then the ship begins to like vibrate as if it's like trying to dislodge from the cliff slightly uh oh, uh, uh, oh i can like oh, oh. run over to the controls and try and like find off switches do any of you know how to do that 
That was no. Pearl's job. Uh, can oh, yeah. uh, can I try? Can Celeste or can one of them try like help and then I roll? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You could definitely help and you can roll. Um, can I? I guess for my help would be like I. I swear I saw your mother press that button, um, and that button, and that button. Okay. Yes. So if you I press those that. buttons, whack it. You can whack it. See if that works. I guess you have to roll your uh, your help first. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so All this right. is where the fun part. You're going to use persuade to <laughs> persuade the ship to do what you want, which is Ooh, to stop. I like that. That's why it says uh, an NPC. I actually need it to be someone or something, but it's specifically NPCs. Uh, it's a weird thing where I was like, how do you use technology? You persuade it to work. Hacking is just persuading. So that's that's so the... you're gonna roll to help, which it sounds like you're helping with words and feelings. So you're gonna roll yes. plus facet. Um, <laughs> she's and smiling. Then so I don't gonna know roll to persuade the ship. All right, let's do it. Roll. No modifiers. Oh, oh. does that give me negative modifiers? I mean, if you want it to, I think that would be fair to take a negative uh, condition. Like maybe insecure might make sense in this instance because okay. you don't know. Does that mean I lose confident if I get insecure? Um, or you lose confident and just go to neutral. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it'll be negative one condition. I can swear I help. I'll just, I, I'll, I'll, like, I'll take insecure that... because I also messed up earlier. So I think Yeah, maybe... how does that impact you? Um, I think Kara's not really sure. So she's like, okay, well, maybe Pax knows better than I do. <laughs> you feel like a little bit bad about yourself, maybe? Yeah. She's like, well... Maybe I won't be able to, but I can try. All right, try and persuade that ship. All right, so facet, and then I uh, get yeah. Well, in your case, you can roll plus facet because you have the the move. The pulling, pulling heartstrings. Okay. You're just like appealing to the emotional core of the ship. Yeah, I guess I like hit the buttons, and I'm like. In this instance, you're really going with your gut. Like, I'm like, please, work. pretty, pretty, please. Yeah, <laughs> I think she's like hoping and praying, and it doesn't oh. work. Ah! <laughs> So, cool. All right. Uh, the the ship's engines are on. They begin to rumble. There's a beep, 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 beep. And I think what uh... happens, just because this is great, they fire on for a moment. And the whole ship, like, you feel it lurch as all of you uh, sort of rock to the side um, and get thrown around. So I think everybody is going to take a tag. Okay. Uh, which is uh, knocked about. Is that uh, minor? Which uh, it, it's it's whatever you don't have filled. So you okay, always the next one that you have available. No, I'm just knocked about unless someone wants to defend or do anything like that. The ship lurches out of the side of the, the cliff face and then it goes and it's like stutters and then it just starts falling. It gets uh, it gets like half a mile out and it's now going to fall into the ocean. Uh, ah! I don't think that worked, Pax. Yeah, everybody lurch. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do our Star Trek. <laughs> so, but I'll let people react to this because I think Bentham's putting his hand up to indicate that maybe he's gonna be at three tags because you haven't mm -hmm. regenerated yet. Yep. Oh no! Oh, what happened? No. Uh, so someone could potentially defend Lapis or Celeste from being knocked about if they wanted to, um, or uh, you get knocked about, which probably means that you are, you're out of the scene in some capacity. I don't think you can decide if that means you're poofed um, or it just means you're like dazed and not able to act until um, until someone can help. I feel you. like I was working on the machine so I can't really like say that I would def would have defended uh, mm -hmm. Celeste. Um, I was helping her out, so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe blush. Yeah, I, I think blush. No pressure. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, uh -huh. Since my tag was grabbed and the thing was gone, was that gone? Oh, those are that's gone. Yeah. So if you had the grab tag, okay. those oh. actually that puts you on in it too. Yes. Thank you. They and are I restrained. They are so I guess that one also goes. Yeah. So you're that puts you only at two. Oh, okay. I'm fine but, then. I can be knocked about. But flesh could also still protect you. That's yes, what flesh's thing is protecting. I will protect. Protect. So so. I okay, see you ab about to like okay. hit something like like very dangerous that could potentially like poof you. So I go and and I just like Celeste and I like jump <laughs> off of something and like go to like uh like grab you and and like take the damage. So 
All right, roll to defend. Well, maybe it's it's that like I'm I'm I've currently got my my wings going and I'm floating. So when the ship suddenly goes backwards, I just go into the wall because I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're moving like independently of the ship, as opposed to like I imagine Pax like sort of drift slightly, like you you lurch and then you sort of stop yourself by like levitating. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. Beautiful. And let's roll the fend, and that is cut. And remember, so. take XP every time you're failing a roll. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I've not been doing really that. farming it right now. Everyone, Ooh. go back and check if you've missed any. Uh, I got uh, no. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, Partial success on your cut. So, um, so a uh, t- tell me if this is, is what it is. Uh, mm-hmm. Expendable is unless we act in disregard for your own self, uh, self kind of being. To protect someone, take one tag and then upgrade it. Would that be applicable for this? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm going to take a tag and upgrade it to a success. Okay. So it becomes a, a full success. What tag are you taking? Uh, so I think I take the damage. So I think as uh, Celeste. Double knocked like, about? Yeah. So like they fall into me and I hit the wall oh. and I cushion their blow. Okay. Um, so I think. Um, you a little smushed. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> smushed. So you get knocked about <laughs> and smushed. Um, and uh, you take no, you take no negative effects because you fully defend them, so you keep them safe. Uh, and and Lapis, you are you are protected by Aww. blush. Oh, protected. Be more careful. Also, the ship is falling now. Ah. Yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna try again to persuade the ship to to like stop. I feel like Kara, you you're you can't fly at all, so you and Ruby get like sort of like start falling to the ceiling where both like Celeste and Pax are sort of like keeping level with it because one of them can levitate and one of them can fly. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So um, you might need to resolve being knocked about before you can. Okay. How, do, how can I resolve being knocked about? I can grab I... my fork and I like stab it into the wall to like. Dip. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I pull out my weapon. Whoop, out of my gem. Very You yeah. pull out your weapon, you stab it into the console. I'm not going to do well with this or can yeah, i do I think it? you gotta i think no i don't think you need to roll for this okay um so you you are you're sort of bracing yourself on there yeah like uh, holding on to the, get the ship to do what now what are you trying to make happen uh, and i'm gonna try to like stop i'm gonna try to reverse whatever i just did <laughs> okay, we're gonna crash the ship into <laughs> i don't care anymore i just wanted to stop back into the cliff <laughs> just go back into the cliff <laughs> <laughs> re-crash <laughs> yeah <laughs> reverse the polarity we yeah. survived the first time yeah all right it's fine all right it was fine the first time go ahead and give that persuade a roll unless anyone else is doing anything anyone else doing anything uh like my plan is if this fails, I'm going to use my water powers and try and like slow the fall. Save us that way. Okay. Okay. I mean, now there's definitely a big hole because the toes are no longer lodged into the side Seven? of the cliff. So a partial success. Um, it, the ship will do what you want it to do, but at some cost. Mm. So either you can take a negative condition or we can have a little bit of a cost, and I have an idea. I could definitely take scared because I'm definitely scared. Yeah, you want to be scared? I mean, it makes sense probably for you to take scared and uh, I'm still going to make the thing happen because it's <laughs> okay. funny. Okay, so, that's fine with me. So this, so you you get it started. The engines like lurch on and then the ship spins for a second and then it, it like dives back up, lodges back into the wall, but now it's upside down. <laughs> Wait, so instead so of like a foot sticking foot... up it's the foot sticking down so you all just like land on the ceiling oh my gosh <laughs> am i still holding on to the fork like am i hanging yeah, by the yeah, fork yeah you're hanging off of the console um, with your fork like jabbed into it i don't know how long i can hold on <laughs> i'm just like smashed not much of a drop right <laughs> like... well since I mean, i'm from the floor to ceiling it, you know it's a few feet for sure Oh, I'll, I'll like move into position. I guess I'm tallest, so I just can't like I go and reach up, and if I need to, I flap the wings to get more height. Yeah. Okay. Hold grab hold and bring her down. Yeah. Well, that was an adventure. Mm. Sorry. I might have to redecorate guess, a bit now. I guess I'm just not as good as my mom at this. Uh, I you no, know, you 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 did great. You saved us. We're all okay. Yeah, we're good. We're back. Uh, we needed to redecorate anyways and you know but now everything's upside down 
Well, that so, means uh, we don't need as many stairs to get up here now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the stairs, the rickety stairs, pretty broken now. <laughs> no, my work! <laughs> <laughs> my life's work! <laughs> it's I mean, way too know, long. Can I... Can I use a uh, facet to to comfort uh, Kara right now? Yeah, you want to try and get in sync? Yes, I'll try to right. get in sync. And hopefully, it... oh, I just. Well, how do you make it worse? <laughs> <laughs> For myself. You get a five. I got a five. Well, it's, it's okay, Kara, because like, you know, when I came and crashed on here, it was... I was useless too, because I can't do anything that I used to. So it's okay. <laughs> we can be useless together. Oh no! This oh, is so wow. sad. I love it. <laughs> both of you insecure right now. Just I'm already insecure. Do I lose my confidence? I think, can I remove confidence? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> If you if you take insecure, you cancel. You can't. Out you can't have first, the positive and the negative. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's. Uh, I think I'm already like insecure scale. then. So. It's like uh... Well, didn't you have but confidence? You, but you had confidence. That? So last time you got insecure, that meant that actually you, that they just both went away and you had nothing. Now you're actually getting insecure. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, think of it as like a slider that goes from negative one to zero to one, gotcha, and gotcha. you can only move one step at a time. Um, I tried. <laughs> so sad. <Funny. laughs> That's so, I love it though. Big oof. It's definitely one. Like, I think. I think I just lean shoulder. on Pax's shoulder, and we just we just have a sad moment together. Yeah, and from from the from the rules perspective, like the the GM or the facilitator can always do a hard move, which or like one of their moves is to apply a negative condition, which is always a great thing to do, especially if someone fails to get in sync and they play out like what they do to make it worse. Yeah. No. <laughs> It that definitely made it worse. <laughs> try, I try, guys. So maybe we pause there for a moment as the like the group of you sort of catch your breath. The ship is upside down, but it's back in place. Uh, you have bubbled the chryso barrel, um, so, and whatever it did to the ship, you've mostly undone. Pax and Kara are emotionally fragile right now. Um, but, you know, ultimately, it seems like maybe you have solved most of the major problems for today. Uh, so what do you now do, like, in this this breath? Like, this might be the time that you could do regeneration to, like, reduce your tags um, or kind of go about your day. Um, I don't know if you have other prep work you need to do for Kara's birthday tomorrow. Kara, when you're sad, I don't know what you do. I eat. Okay. <laughs> I eat my feelings away. I also have iron stomach, so I can eat to regenerate myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Cara just goes and eats her feelings. You go to the kitchen and you start eating like what's left over of all of the burgers. Oh, I find an ice cream bucket that is half eaten. Yeah. <laughs> just heard mm. I, I spend the time re- regenerating as much as I need to, and then if there's any extra time, I start working on a new set of stairs. Okay, so in any break, you can do one sort of round of regeneration. Basically, all of your tags get reduced by one. So if they're mild, they go away. If they're moderate, they become mild. If they're severe, they become moderate. Okay, I get rid of my... No longer toasted. I'm no longer <clears throat> smashed or bashed again. Think of it like a, a little bit like injuries and blades. They like drop down by one tier. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you are, uh, if you, you're doing your regeneration, your iron stomach, mm-hmm. um, that also means, um, you get to drop them down by one more tier. Okay. Well, I only had one. Or so by two, when you regenerate. Yeah. So when you eat, you get to do like extra regeneration. I figured that would be a good thing for me because mm-hmm. I am trash at fighting stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I will probably get messed up a lot. I think blush. Um, I think I'm going to take off the tag inspired um, and I'm going to just like regenerate. Um, but I think I'm just like very down in the dumps because I'm was classified as unoptimized. I didn't really protect yeah. uh, as much as I could and there's more damage. So I'm just cleaning up the training thing that I was going to give Kara, cleaning up the cake. 
You know, the, the greatest, the greatest damage that the Chrysler Barrel did was emotional. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> emotional damage. Mm. I think, uh, but let's be so, real. We did it to ourselves. Yeah. I'm going to remove the plus for brave. Cause you know, we had that plus mm-hmm. I got brave and you calm. don't have to take them away. You oh, okay. want to, but you can. Uh, remember tags and conditions are different so tags are the like injuries that you sustain whereas conditions are like status effects they're like my feelings um so you only lose them if you feel like you don't have that feeling i feel i feel i feel like i i will remove the brave and then i can take i'm gonna just kind of go off because i basically uh uh pax is reminded that the purpose that they were made for Oh, yeah, doesn't work. I'm gonna go. Not float off. I am not optimized. Disoptimized is not a word, but I couldn't think of what the actual word was. Unoptimized. Un- unop- unoptimized. unoptimized. <laughs> Whatever. It's a broken gem. It's disoptimized. <laughs> I am also disoptimized. Actually, it's also kind of worse. Say disoptimized. <laughs> disoptimized. And then I can take off the minor tag, right? Oh, oh yes. yeah, suboptimal. suboptimal works. Yeah, suboptimal. <laughs> um, I'm... yeah, we got feelings. We got feelings. Yeah. So, uh, do you all just sort of go to separate locations and kind of feel sad? <laughs> I think so. Assess- assessing my uh, conditions, I think I've got to get rid of calm because of what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take that one off. Okay. Uh, I also think I probably am no no longer inspired. Yeah. I, like how, I like how some players are like, no, I will never choose to re- lose my own conditions, and some players are like, I feel terrible. Get rid of all the good conditions. <laughs> <laughs> all the good conditions are gone. Well, like, I, like, I like these. Technically, that's an optional thing. You can just say you only lose them when the GM tells you to. But I like to put that feeling bad in the hands of the players. <laughs> I, 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 I want to keep them all, good. but I looked at them and I'm like, I can't call myself calm now. We just <laughs> like I agree. I'm across not. space and I'm then back add again. Also, into a hopeless clip. a little bit on there. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> hang ourselves Dad. now. We've got to move to the next <laughs> scene, but or we'll all have full negatives. Before it's, before it's done. Let, me, let me just like give you like five more minutes, and you'll just <laughs> you'll just draw your like, no, yeah, I, I am scared. We'll go through all the grief insecure. process. We'll get angry too. Yeah. Oh god, what a scary Um So is anyone gonna do anything? I do think Blush will go uh, sometime, maybe like 20 mm-hmm. you know, minutes later, we'll, we'll go to Kara and uh, see that they're down. And uh, we'll just kind of say, hey, kiddo. Hi, Blush. Are you all right? No. Yeah. But that's okay. You did good today, though. You think so? Mm-hmm. I don't. I wasn't able to help you get the information for my mom. And I don't sing songs like her either. And I crashed our ship upside down. Well, you were able to do something no one here could. Never stop the ship. So, and you don't have to sing like Pearl. I didn't dance like Pearl. You are, you are not Pearl. You are Kara, and that is okay. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're all, you're trying to trying to get in sync here. Yeah. All right, let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do that. Let's pass it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-oh. Go, go, feelings. Twelve. Oh. oh, thank goodness. Wow. I don't know if I can Box handle cards. any more sadness. Box oh, 20 cards. believes. <laughs> oh, 20 <laughs> believes in us. <laughs> that the dice wanted it in that moment. Mm-hmm. Continue, uh, but that. you can take either both take plus two condition or both mark XP. I think I'm no longer insecure or scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you have the negative, you can move them to zero and then for one and then move them to positive if you want, or you can get rid of like two negatives. 
I, I think emotional yo-yoing with this. I think calm and, and, and confident for them. But also uh, on a 10 plus, um, we can choose to have our uh, uh, plus two, right? Oh, is that it's plus two conditions you said? Yeah, plus two conditions. Okay, okay. Yeah, then I think yeah. it goes up at the end of the session. Oh, okay. I but see. You, then, yeah. you could mark XP. Um, I guess you choose two. I don't know why I said choose two when you just get both. So you also mark XP. <laughs> choose two of two options. <laughs> I, cho wait, I choose those we, two. Do we do we mark XP? Yep, you mark oh. one XP. Yeah, bro. <sighs> yeah. Cool. This is the first time we've got this good of a roll on this. You gain two conditions <laughs> and you mark XP because yeah. the roll was awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm now in a default state, thank goodness, because like me, Maggie was about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> that was really sweet. Where no. we started. That's yeah, okay. Um, I guess with that, um, Kara looks up and says. I guess you're right. I just have to find myself. That's I'll important. never be able to replace my mom. But I can be my own pearl. You can be the best one. Aww. And <laughs> Cry again! I, 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 I hug Bush. <laughs> <laughs> they hug you this time. Um, and uh, they 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 give, they give you like a square box, and I just say, "It's your pre-day day early gift. It's meant to be for tomorrow." I didn't know I got pre pre-day presents. Yeah, it's supposed to be on the day, but it's the pre. It's early. Should I wait? I think you no. know. She opens it up. <laughs> 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 and she, uh, she's too curious. <laughs> she opens it up. Should I wait? Oh, I've already opened it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, inside, because uh, Blush realizes that uh, Makara kind of likes uh, like forks and things like that. There are a number of like precious kind of uh, minerals and gems like made into like forks in like a row. I love them. She takes them all out and just starts like using all of them to eat food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm glad. Oh. They sit with you and I think that's like kind of ends there. Yeah, and we fade out on yeah. that scene where you all feel better now. And I offer oh, a blush yeah. one too. We're just eating food with the yeah. all the forks. Speaking <laughs> of not feeling better. Lapis and and or Pax. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and uh, look for uh, Celeste. Celeste is probably uh, flying just outside the 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 ship, trying to work out where to fix new like platforms onto to get out of the ship back to the ground. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hey Celeste, do you need any help? If I can float things up for you help, help you lift up or anything like that uh it might help if you can like hold certain things up yeah i, I gotta get it fixed because like car has got to be able to like walk to a room or what it, it's got to be ready for tomorrow oh yeah yeah i i mean this is perfect i the, the the bright thing we can see in this is that we can redecorate nicely you know sometimes it's good to change things up get new things you know yeah yeah Change is good. That's it's the, what humans keep telling us. Yeah, change, change is good. Yep. Yeah. I go ahead and <laughs> help hold. Um. <laughs> just. <sighs> you knew what you signed up for, Lauren. This I did. Is I did. It. I did. As, you, as you don't need to do anything. We destroy ourselves. Yeah. Destroy ourselves. You think I ever? We'll be able to see you again. Uh, sure, yeah. Like it's just some weird property of this planet. It's magnetic. What's up with that? I don't know. It's weird. You just, just... navigation, but you could just use the stars for that. Yeah. I just. I don't know what to do. Well. 
we've got all the time in the world. We can just hang around until someone finds us. The Empire's always expanding. They'll eventually send more scout ships this way and they'll at some point not crash and actually notice the planets here before they run in straight into it like we did. And then they'll take us home. We can make like a like a uh, an antenna that can like send a signal, and then they'll they'll like pick it up and come get us. I don't know what they'll do if they find Kara, though. We might have to. Maybe that's not a good idea. No. I don't know. What do you What do you want to do? No. We have to protect Kara. They're not going to understand our home world. But don't worry, we're not going to think about these things. It's fine. So where do you want? We could we could add like a little, I don't know, these things called hot tubs. I hear that they're really nice. Oh, that'd be good. Then I've got more sources of water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you say the whole ocean behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so if we if we put one in the on the bridge, then uh, next time it's on fire, then I could just get the water straight out of the hot tub and put out the fire. Ooh. You know what? Instead of making all these stairs, why don't we try moving the ship again? That seems like a wonderful idea. You know, it, it's also good practice for Kara. I, I mean, I had been thinking I could, like, if I got enough water together, I could kind of, like, pick the ship up and move it a bit. I feel like. But I didn't want to because I didn't want to mess up where it was, but I guess it's messed up now, so we could try moving it. Ah, yes. I think that would be a, a great idea. And then if we have it positioned right, then the humans can come in safely because they always used to complain they never wanted to come over because of, you know, they're squishy. And, you know, they kept saying things about the rocks are going to fall down and squish them or something like that. Oh, yeah, they'll fragile. fall off and they, yeah, they they, they go splat and stuff and yeah that makes sense and then like I start making like a representation next to me out of water of, like if the cliff's like this and then we instead of the foot being stuck in and down we just turn it so they walk into the front and then they can go up and into the caves and we can keep the caves perfect and we can go ahead and fade up with our, our designs of everything that we can it's perfect this so is you what start planning this are you going to just execute this like now? I mean, we'll warn anyone who's in the foot. Yeah, we'll warn okay. them. Like pressing the button that says, hey, we're going to move the ship. It <laughs> seems good. Hold I think, on. I think I'm going to I'm gonna go try to find Pax and Celeste, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, while, um, they're, while they're scheming about this. Yeah, I, th um, I think um, Kara realizes that they're not very good with their emotions and Pax was sad earlier today already, so this probably didn't help. And then we then we were sad together, but Blush made me realize it's going to be okay. So uh, Kara kind of makes her way into the room and is like, oh, you're both here. I feel like you make your way into the room, but they're like outside the ship right at this point. Yeah, or you, well, yeah. Probably, like, it's probably that like she goes for the exit to leave, but it's now like kind of weirdly. There's no oh, yeah, because we're both the floating creatures. We can float. Ceiling. And then we're, yep. yeah, we're just outside, just floating. Floating. <laughs> so you, like, open the door and see them. Oh. You're both together. Uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna turn the ship around. We're, I had this idea, we could put it on the ground, and then people can walk in, and they can come at the top and go into the thing. It's, it's, it's gonna be a nice change. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a good change, and no longer humans are going to complain about getting squished. Okay. Those all sound like good things. Uh, probably best, uh, since, since you guys, uh, can't come down, uh, uh, you and, and Blush should probably hold on to something, but we'll bring you ahead of time before, before we do any of these things. Um, yep. do you think that's a good idea? Well, you could, you could go through the toes and hang out in the caves for a second while we do it. Yes. Is there anything I can do to help? You can like call out uh, the positioning. You can be like nearer or further, like because you will be able to see where it is. Yes. Okay. I'll go down and I'll tell Blush. We'll help call directions for you. All right. Tell us when you're ready. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like 
I I turn around and in the distance over at the ocean you just see like the, the water like <laughs> a giant blob of it. Yeah, like, yeah. Someone's gr- like casting a go. fishing line off of a pier and they're and it just like lands on the sand and they're like, huh, tides out. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I kind of I run down to Blush and I'm like, Blush, we have an important job to do. What are we doing? Come on, it's like a mission. You can even sing your mission song. Blush, blush, Kara, blush, blush, Kara, blush, blush. <laughs> we make our way down to the toes and into the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, outside, uh, Lapis is going to presumably be using hydrokinesis, Celestia. Yep. Uh, are you attempting to assist in some way? Uh, yes, because I can float away and help position. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, you're helping. It sounds like with quick thinking. Uh, so roll with clarity. Clarity. Can we help right. with words? Because I guess we're shouting like left. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. I- I'll say either one of the two of you roll it. Ooh. I That's- helped. You help. You get a three. I have a plus one to it. What do you have? Blush. Uh, what's it rolled with? I think it'd be face it, right? Facet. Facet. Uh, sorry. Face I, have, it. I have a Facet. zero. Because <laughs> it works. Uh, right? uh, yeah. Okay. You got I'll, the higher I'll, one. I'll do it then. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how. Uh, oh no! <laughs> it's gonna be a train wreck. Three. I hope we so don't. They're both helping with oh, a god, three. Oh god, that was snake eyes. So both mark, X, mark XP. Oh yeah. Uh, what if I fill oh, up yeah. my bar, and then I overflow? <laughs> if you fill it up, you can take. Uh, you can. You can immediately take. <laughs> Pick one of those, either a new move or add plus one to a stat. Ooh, okay. I'm going to have to look at the moves again. We're doing it, chat. We're doing it. We're doing it. it. Yay. We're doing it. It's going to be You're perfect. all rolling. How about this? Instead of we're doing it, we're doing something. Gotcha. We're <laughs> <laughs> doing something. Yep. Something's happening. Right. I'm going to I'm gonna roll luster. Go. Oh, I am it. good at this, but yeah, you gonna have dice to- can <laughs> say no. What happened the last time you said that? <laughs> Yeah, the dice have not been in your favor. Oh. And you can just look at how many times you rolled ones on your dice. Oh, whoa, whoa. seven. Oh, that was close. That, that was very close. Partial success on hydrokinesis. It's, it's not a fail. Not, not a, fail. a fail. So you do successfully, in this case, move, manipulate the water. Um, I mean, normally this would be for an attack, but I think this is relevant. So you do successfully move the ship, but something bad is gonna happen as a result of that there there will be a consequence which is either that you take a negative condition um others are tagged as appropriate uh or or the environment gets flooded or we can come up with something else if we think it's relevant hmm. um, how about maybe I, might, I could take a condition i could do that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point, you're all just been punishing yourselves. So I'm a, I'm so, positive overall for conditions right now. Yeah. Okay, so it's a, a maybe more taxing than you're anticipating, um, yeah. and you'll take negative one condition. So you can choose where to apply the minus. So yeah, describe this for me. How does this whole process work as you maneuver the ship into a better position for humans to get in and so out? So I. Of it? I transport a giant ball of ocean water over the town, <laughs> which probably unsettles a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I make careful uh, attempt to uh, not run it through power lines because they've told me off uh, for that before. Yeah, um, yeah that hasn't I, done I carefully go over all the power lines and, and telegraph poles, and so no, no, there's no no citywide blackouts this time. And then ah. I just kind of engulf the the foot in the water, and I'm like. Got to get it out of the cliff again. So it's like, and pull. Nope. Pull. 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 <laughs> it's trying to use like water up. to At move this, point, this you giant destroyed thing. most of the other structures that were built around um, it. Oh, oh no. 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 My, house. my rooms. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think you're able to keep it all connected. So they just sort of like tumble onto the ground. Yeah. And fi- finally, I get the thing loose and it's like, oh, it's heavy. Oh, care- careful, careful. Oh, and like slowly rotating this massive foot ship uh, until it's right way up. And then carefully like, trying to carefully drop it down, but it's probably more like a controlled fall. Uh, yeah, and then it's like, fall. crunch on the ground. 
I'm like, oh, that wasn't, I thought I could handle. Mm. So is now the foot like on the ground and then like the leg goes up to where the foot previously was. And so like now you can kind of like walk up on the inside of the ship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the cave. Sorry, it's worked out. I meant the other left. It's now in a position oh, where there left. are rickety stairs <laughs> up and down it. <laughs> and I'm going to take the condition insecure because my parents didn't go as well as I expected them to. It didn't quite go as well as you expected. Um, Maybe next it, time we should use cardinal directions. Uh, um, it works. No stairs. Good job. No stairs. <laughs> the water then just and like the whole beach is like bathed <laughs> in water for a moment as it um, as it's it runs fine. back. The fisherman had moved further down to where the shoreline was, and then just like immediately is like <laughs> next beach, just, like oh. Um, and as all of you are, are very focused on this activity um, and you kind of look up the water, the water clears and you sort of scan around you and you see multiple chrysoberyls. Same as before, the little orbs popped up. There's probably half a dozen of them like dotted around and they're all beginning to scan everything that's happening. Gather around the foot or just like around town? Just around you, like in this area. They're, none of them are super close to you. Like you're not, you'd have to sort of leap at them pretty substantially, but they're, you see them. Like at first, maybe you think, oh, I'm just seeing something in the corner of my eye. But you see these little blobs with a little sort of tentacle sticking out. Um, and they all have gems in a slightly different location and their eyes begin to scan. Uh oh. Oh no, there's more of them. And oh, in a chorus, they all say, Unoptimized. Um. Ooh, ooh, that sounds no good. I am going to go ahead and be my sapphire self. Um. Who has? Uh. I'll go call. Uh, who has authority here? Call out to them. Ooh, you call out to them. Yes. Um. And one of them will move forward. Uh, the other one sort of like hang back and one seems to move forward, comes all the way up to you, packs as you start talking and like scans up and down. It's I, like, it's it's because it's, it's, it's like a cat eye slit. It like scans this way and then it rotates and scans this way. <laughs> well, while it's still scanning me, I'll say I am Sapphire Pax of yada, yada, yada. This is, you, you will then the be followed under my control because I am the Sapphire. The, the scanning light um, pauses as it hovers over you and um, in the sort of voice that it seems to only be able to say one thing, unoptimized, faulty. Don't like that. How dare they? <laughs> uh, can I use the facet to try to like stop it from whatever it's doing? You want to try and persuade it? Yeah, persuade yep. it to be so in your control. So clarity. Can I okay. assist in this persuasion? Sure. How are you assisting? Um, I think that uh, Carl will probably just add in there. Um, well, that's not very nice to say. Why don't you tell us why we're unoptimized? Okay. I think that sounds like you're trying to do it with words and feelings. So roll your, uh, Kara, roll facet. We'll see what the result is. And then Pax, you're going to roll. Uh, oh my God. Pretty. Sorry. Wow, that's a fine. I'm bad. At this. They, just, they don't seem to listen to you, Kara. Mm -hmm. um, they, right. don't, they don't register. Anything. I have another way that I can make them listen. No, so I would be rolling clarity then, right? You are rolling clarity. Good luck, everybody. Yay. Oh, <laughs> A partial success. So they're going to do what you want at some cost to you. You're either going to take a negative condition or there's some different price. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell them to see from a different, what kind of different price? Well, what are you asking them to do? You're asking them to stop, but mm -hmm. yeah, depends I'm on gonna, how they interpret that. So uh, shut down, I guess it would be like, like, like stop. Uh, I'm getting angry. I'll just say I am getting angry because they are not listening okay. to me. I am a sapphire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're you're being you're being spoken back to by some crisis. Yeah, barrel. some plebeian barrel. barrel. How dare <laughs> they talk to um, me like that? And I am going to tell them to cease and desist and to land. 
you know, land and wait for the instructions. So I think the one that you're speaking to, um, it, like if, if it could blink, it does like the, the line, like, and it's eye like disappears and then reappears like it's whole eyeballs there. It doesn't have a lid. It's just like the iris disappears and reappears. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it sort of like swirls and I think it stops being a slit and just becomes a pupil and it, it kind of, um, just hovers next to you. Oh, and the like other ones got it to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I'd say protocol. Optimize for resources. Optimizes resources. Uh, uh, this is protocol. Like, just stop protocol. Just stop protocol. Processing. Ceasing protocol. Does it just stop? I guess I could see just... anything. It just it's just hovering next to you. It's like a little floating orb, it's like a little like AI thing, like just like. I think Car like kind of looks at it and um, maybe touches it. It's like kind of squishy. I think it has like a little bit of like give to it. Oh, it's Ooh. kind of squishy. I think you made a friend. Hmm. What uh... do you think? Optimizing resources means. Um, Blush is going to go over and uh, look at it, and uh, they're going to say to Pax. Turns around and looks at you. Mm. Like, it's just a normal pupil now, which is like, it's like really cute. It's like a giant floating eyeball. Do I have to? (laughs) I guess there's still how many more of them are there? They all left, except for this one. Except for this one. Oh. Um, it, it, uh, Blush is going to say, explain mission protocol. It pauses for a second. Like, like the pupil sort of swirls, uh, and then it turns around and looks at Sapphire. <laughs> Just like turns its back to you. Explain protocol. <laughs> Explaining. Terraforming protocols initiated and optimized. Now halted. Oh no. Wait, wait, a, a terraforming for, for who? Homeworld. Homeworld sent them. Oh. Wait, is that good or bad? I'm not sure. Oh. Um. Well. Has a message gone out yet? Communications have ceased. Where did. Does it look like it had, like, stuff covering it or something? Like, it's. No. I mean, How of... much do you all know about corrupted gems? Do you think, like, as I a don't... group, Kara knows know. nothing because yeah, I'm sure okay. no Kara one has nothing. told her. I think we just we as a group we don't actually. I don't know. I am. I'm just gonna make a thing that mm. maybe we don't know because then if we did know, they would probably think Sapphire was corrupted. Because I'm not working properly. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, like corrupted gems, are, like are monstrous and generally just this does not look like a gem like that to be very clear it is not like a oh it's like a construct it is a blob um Mm -hmm. so you it is probably would in in then in that case would definitely be odd to you that it it's displaying gem like features it has a gem does not look like one at all and it doesn't fit with anything that you would remember or understand about christ of barrels we we just assume that it's kind of broken yeah 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 i don't Um, know would we corrupted gems just thinking about it because we crashed and we didn't really interact with yeah. any other gems you were, yeah we, we ran we away from have... or you all ran away from the problem so you didn't really like see what happened mm. but there's yeah, decent odds gems that more we've... of a jelly <laughs> a gem yeah, we easily could have encountered a bunch of corrupted gems and lives but we definitely don't know why they exist yeah. and they mm. probably don't exist outside of earth at least oh. for this one, it seems broken because it's not holding its form right it's not like projecting yeah. its form we would yeah. be familiar with it also doesn't really malfunction in other ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like mm. I, I'll look at it for a crack. Odd too for a gem. Mm. I, I look for a crack on the gem because that could explain it being weird. There isn't one. Like it's not cracked. It looks fine, but it's acting odd, and it's got it protocols the same as like the it's other a machine that we saw before. Yes. Yes, uh, the gem is placed in a different location, but otherwise it looks pretty similar. Maybe slightly different color. 
Mm. The one that you bubbled. Mm. Would this yeah. one allow me to bubble? Or no, because it's not. It's not poofed. It's not poofed. Can we take a but moment? But it's like hovering like, next to you. Can we take a moment then, to like examine it more? For yeah, you can all take a moment um, or anyone can. And I think like uh, Pax, as you're there, um, it's going to like reach out and like put its little like tentacle on your shoulder unless you stop it. Um, I don't want to get touched by this right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of move back a bit. It like, it, it ste- you step away from it and it's like, it, it like spins the, the iris. A little <laughs> assistance. Oh, it's asking for assistance. I just, this seems very familiar to me in a way that I yeah. just don't like. Mm. Um, I think I rolled an eleven. Ooh, ooh. So, so Kara, how you remember this is up to you. But as you're looking at it, and maybe this is something that like would speak to you because you're a pearl. Uh, Chryso barrels are gems that are there to help analyze data and assist with decision making for the most optimal outcome. They help other gems make decisions and they are a network. So all of them can talk to each other or a group of them can talk to each other. Ooh. They're like a little bit like data processing gems. Their whole right. directive is to make things work better. Um, so they're kind of like pearls, like they're assistants. They're not, they're not generally important or powerful. So I, I guess so that would be that. my like what is this right yeah yes you were taking a moment um so I guess I asked like what is this what's happening here yeah um, um what is my biggest threat in regards to it it doesn't seem to be acting the way you would expect a chrysoberyl to be acting so whatever the network is communicating or doing like they seem to be trying to optimize things without knowing how to like they're analyzing it and then they're like, I must do my job, but they're doing it very poorly. Okay. Ah, which is why things seem to be getting better and then worse. How can I get it them all to stop? Well, that's probably something you don't know because so far the only solution anyone has found is that you have to poof and bubble gems when they're causing problems. Okay. So my assumption would be to poof and bubble it. Okay. I will relay all of that information yeah how do you, how did you think Kara figured all of that out um I think she just has a moment where like that information comes to her and she almost it's almost like she does the pearl song but like just says says all the <laughs> things like out singing it dead yeah it deadpan. this is a crisis of peril they help you make decisions when you're in peril <laughs> they optimize they have one eyes and the network is always at work. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Hmm. I wasn't prepared for a song about <laughs> There you go. You get it. You got it. Uh, huh. I would, I could we, I mean, the only answer if she says that. I mean, there's something obviously wrong with it, but. Yes. Mm. Perhaps it can lead us to the others. Yeah, it sounds like they're useful to have around, but for some reason they've gone wrong. Maybe it just needs a bath. It's like gooey, right? <laughs> is, this, is this the form it's supposed to have? Is this like a weird form? I don't think gems are squishy, really, right? We're not squishy. I, I mean, know. you sometimes they can be. It's unusual. It's going to try and touch you again. You know what? I'm just curious. Might as well reach out as well. Where is your gem located? Um, my gem is on my belly button. Okay. So it doesn't touch you. It like, puts a little like tentacle on your shoulder, um, and then it seems to... I think I think it's in your mind 
you get like a flood of sudden information and it actually is is not good um it for you like it it's like it, an obelisk uh, yeah it's basically like trying to connect to you to be like let me help you um but it's not helpful right now so oh no 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 I, I shake it off like of it, like, um, floods you with a bunch of information I'll shake uh, it off of me. Can I shake no, it off of me? They're supposed to be Yes, helpful. but you were going to take negative one condition. Oh, uh, I have. I, can I get them? I think I almost like, oh, I would have scared then. I would be okay. scared then. I have all the negative tags. Like, Yay. <laughs> I'm helping. Oh, no. Helping. No, Poor no as soon as I snap, snap out of that, I will go ahead and say, uh, uh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Why? I, I like, I, I take up like a, I, I mean, Immediately jump between it and and Pax, and ready myself for for a fight. Like, don't touch. What did it do? It's it's wrong. It's it's wrong. It's optimizing. It is. No, no optimizing. No optimizing. It it's wrong. We have to. It can't be put like just make it stop. Just it's not right. Can I hit it with my fork? You gonna stab it with your fork? Oh, yeah, yeah it. it's right. All right, this is cut, right? Mm -hmm. I'm bad at this, okay. just FYI. And definitely, as you do this, I'm like, Haru, be careful. <laughs> I feel oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happens? I have not been our I'm bad wow, at this. Wow, Carl's a two. You're, you're, um, you're farming that XP, though. I mean, eventually, yeah. you'll, <laughs> yeah. you'll actually start succeeding on rolls instead of the dice. Wow. Uh, okay, so you. you good. Go just stab it with your fork, but I think it shifts to the side and then just wraps its little like tentacle around your hey. arm, and then you and then, it, and then it's like optimizing, and you're just like flooded with like data points that don't make sense. Can I move in to, to uh, defend? Yes, you may. So that may or may not happen to you. Roll to defend. Yeah, I definitely forked that one up. <laughs> Actually, you can't. Um, <laughs> No, she has to take the consequence because she failed the roll. Yeah, uh, but it is okay. attached to her, so now you could defend. Yeah. You can, you so can that gives me it. a negative con a, neg uh, a tag, and that is restrained uh, or something. You take minus one condition. Oh, minus one condition. Um, hopeless That's makes right. sense. Scared. I'm scared. And mm. it is mm. it is yeah. wrapped around. I'm scared. Yeah. Arm. Yep, I'm going uh, to defend. Okay. I think in this instance, you're actually fighting it yourself. So go ahead and roll the fight for what's right. Okay. Unless you want to do hydrokinesis. Eight. Yeah. Okay. I, just, I just go with, with the, the weapon. I'm, I'm like, it worked last time. Right with the ribbon. Yeah, you smack it. You It wraps around it and it poof. You poof it. <sighs> the gem splatters to the ground. Um, but you take either a negative one condition I think in that in this case because it's gone, so I don't think there's a counter attack or disadvantageous position. Okay, yep, I'll take action because it was a partial success. Mm. No, no, uh, oh, angry, yes, eight. angry, angry because it hurt Kara. Okay, makes sense. I think Pax is right. Something's we shouldn't. Yeah, they're I, they're you're right, Kara. You shouldn't have done that. That's it's it's dangerous. Whatever this thing is, I'll be okay. I'm just a little scared. We're gonna have to get rid of. You bubble them it. Mm-hmm. It's okay. We can we can track them all down. Uh, I, we'll work out where they went. Maybe the humans can tell us if they spot any, and we'll we'll bubble all of them so they they can't mess with anything or anyone. As you uh, say that, um, uh, can uh, Blush have been uh, kind of looking around and yeah. trying to? Track and see what's been going on. See what the rest. Yeah, of yeah. Blush, you notice the the tide is receding. That's not good. Mm -hmm. I look out. You sort of feel like for a moment the ground kind of. Is that was that a is that a tremble? Is that a rumble? No, it's probably nothing. <sighs> and then, like, probably right when it poofs and they bubble it, and they're like saying this, this is just 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 a just an earthquake, just straight up like. <laughs> Ugh. What? We just got our house fixed. <laughs> Can I see what's causing it? You look out and you see uh, something seems to be rising up from the water. Just off in the distance. Like, 
we might liken it to like maybe an oil rig or something, um, but it, it sort of appears to be some sort of large gem device. Like it, it like is one of those large drill out of things water. with all the liquid yeah. in it or something. Yeah, it's almost yeah. like someone turned off a big device. I'm going to like run onto like a rock that's like uh, just above the, the kind of ground, jump on it, kind of hit, tap my head and like a, a telescope comes out. <laughs> yes. Like look. Uh, this large device is sort of uh, moving out of the water. So the, the tide is receding because it's like whatever big thing, it's there's a big hole and the water is rushing in to fill this hole. Um, and it looks like at first you're not sure, but it's some sort of large like drill maybe. There's a spire. There seems to be like a structure around it. Um, and as you look even closer, you can see there's just sort of more chryso barrels than you anticipated seeing just sort of like hovering around this thing celeste quick and i like raise up my hand to like grab me <laughs> all right let's go and i yeah i like fly up swoop down grab uh Lish's hand and i head out towards the the device okay don't do anything dangerous i shout back <laughs> <laughs> as the two of them were headed over there Kara, uh, can I make a holographic projection of one of those devices? One of which devices? Uh, the little circle eye things. Yeah, you can make a chrysobarrel holographic projection. What do you want to do with it? Um, follow them. I don't understand how you'll follow them with the projection. Um, so it can fly? Is that what you're hoping to do? Yes, not me follow them, but the projection follows Celeste oh. Blush. Because um, with how can projection, it says you can create like a projection and that uh, mm -hmm. you could yeah, possibly can interact with phys physical objects. Mm -hmm. Interact with it? Sure. If, if I've successfully do mm -hmm. create it. Yeah, go ahead and roll plus luster. We'll see if it works. Eight. An eight. Okay, so on a seven to nine, it's less stable. So either it can't interact with physical objects or it's only going to last for a few moments. Um, how far away is the thing? It's probably better. It's for like, it's kind of far out there. It's yeah, so maybe it can't interact with physical objects. Okay, so you create this image of one of these sort of blob chrysobarrels with their gem uh, and it like bursts out of your pearl and uh, it begins to float over following lapis and or celeste and blush yeah it can speak simple terms and it does like what i tell it to do mm -hmm. oh. all right uh so That's... they're flying over there but i don't think car is ready for this kind of fight I'm sure um, it's fine. Hmm? yeah it's she's fine. Fine. all right um there definitely won't be a third form there's never a third form <laughs> You've only experienced the first form, so so this is the second one. That's how it works, right? It's never a third track of music. Yeah. No, no. Uh, you know what? Minions, boss. I'm trying boss. to think. I'm trying to think. We have the ship. We move the ship, but we can't really control the ship. No. No. Darn it. Unless the engines all full, engines all uh, back. <laughs> Neither of them did as much packs, good. You can drift over the water because you're. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to leave Kara by herself. That's a thing. All right, you know what, Kara? Do you think you're ready? Um, I guess so. I'll go ahead and say, hop on my shoulders, even though I'm like half her height. <laughs> no, I'm scared. I hold on tight. <laughs> and we're gonna go. I like you're like you go fast, but you just sort of drift. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like like Celeste is like flapping no. quickly, and then you just sort of slowly you move at like the speed of moving. Well, uh, yes, uh, like walking. <laughs> but she doesn't have to worry about being on the walk. No, it's fine. So Kara, you're like awkwardly piggybacking on Pax's back, and the the two of you drift towards this uh, large structure with many uh, chryso barrels that. We don't know what they're doing, but they were clearly doing something with this terraforming device. Uh, and now they've been told to stop <laughs> by by the sapphire. So I'm sure nothing's going wrong as the water is draining into wherever that hole led. 
Uh, and I think that's probably a good place for us to stop for today. It's a little bit early, but I think I think we're like at a, at a midpoint. Well, we still have to do the outro and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. I like it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Cliffhangers. Yeah. yeah. The decision making we... network. As All some right. people go fast and then slowly hover to the area, yeah. <laughs> take Kara on this mission, yep. she'll be fine. It's funny. I can totally hold on for not very long. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I have a minus two to that roll. It's fine. Um, <laughs> really, you're only going to have to roll when the like the fighting starts. The, yeah. the just drifting over there is totally fine. It's it's more your potential consequence. <laughs> I'm gonna like drown in the water. Mm-hmm um so thank worry, you the all slowly draining away true so mm. maybe it won't be so bad mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching we hope that you enjoyed this very wholesome uh fight like a gem a fusion two shot that means we will have one more episode next week you'll definitely want to tune in on sunday and if you're just catching this towards the end we'll have it up on youtube um there might be some little finagling that we have to do because it got split into two i'm sorry my internet um so, uh, first and foremost, thank you to our supporter, uh, the wonderful, the geeky Canadian. Thank you so much for your support. Um, and then, of course, we have our new show that is coming August 2nd, which will be The Last Ditch, uh, a Warhammer 40k only war campaign GM'd by Sheepdog42. And we will be uh, announcing the rest of the cast coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but we're really excited. We haven't had Warhammer on this channel for a while, so... We hope that you all enjoy that. And then, of course, we have our monthly recap out and our Ascension Gods Divine Host uh, out as well, along with a whole bunch of other GM tier stuff. So you definitely should go check that out if you're interested in lore goodies. Um, and, of course, the Mage Bod will be out in any moment, in like six minutes. It'll be soon. Um, and while I'm looking up to see if we had any um, wonderful tips, I'll let everyone say where you can find them at. We'll start with our wonderful Crystal... GM, you like what I did there? Like, I feel like I should take, I should put that into the system. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't. I have it as the just the facilitator um, or narrator. I don't even remember. I wrote the system. Hi, I random Tuesday. Thank you so much for having me. It's lovely to be back here on Roll for It. Um, and this is Fusion. If you'd like to grab a copy of this, you can grab it over on randomtuesday.itch.io. Um, and uh, you can also catch me streaming and and talking about games and making games and playing games uh across the internet just following me on twitter is like the best place that you can know what i'm doing and where i'm doing it thanks so much for watching i hope you're enjoying it yay um and then of course i'm gonna go with our newer guest here we have pax played by the wonderful bonsai baby thank you so much for joining us when you're not um floating over the water slowly and having a mental breakdown or emotional breakdown well, what are you up crises. to <laughs> yeah uh, i'm bonsai baby uh you can usually uh just find me here on twitch hanging out and about uh just doing a lot of random things uh mostly just creating making uh and so if you guys ever want to learn how to make a table for yourself you can come by and check me out uh and yeah you can find a lot of the things that i do on on twitter uh, my TikTok is mostly just dog videos. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. Sold. People, yeah, people like Sold. dogs. That's all you had to say. Um, and of course, we have Blush played by Pro Restarter when you're not protecting others and getting angry about um, people calling you. What was it? The word that you kept calling it? Un- no, unoptimized. Unoptimized. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, this was amazing. Uh, thank you for having me. It's been super fun. Uh, just having what it feels and uh, being uh, fabulous as always uh, with this uh, game that is amazing. So thank you, uh, Random Tuesday, for making it. Uh, I am Pro Restarter. You can catch me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, you can also catch me on my uh, podcast uh, that is currently releasing, Shadow of Arcanum. It is a, a game set in uh, the Exandria world using the Shadow of the Demon Lord rules set uh, you can catch it on uh apple podcast spotify and all different places where you can get it so yeah it's a full plc lgbtq uh cast thank you again for having me it's been super amazing awesome 
And of course we have Celeste played by Bentham Plays uh, when you're not floating away in the sky with your wonderful wings, doing ribbon dances, and uh, generally probably freaking out about Kara being in trouble. What are you doing? Uh, I have a YouTube channel called uh, Mangleport Gaming for stupid reasons made by a younger me, um, where you can watch me play games such as Terraria with uh, a bunch of other people who some of you've seen on uh, before on on Saturdays, uh, and then also uh, videos are slowly coming out for the Tuesday show that I've been on on E's channel, where I play uh, heretics in the 40k universe and our lives get ruined by the chat, uh, which is currently on hiatus, but it will be back at point probably after uh, Sheepy's got finished launching uh, our only war show uh, on here. Um, and also, I'm on I'm on all the other uh, well, not all the other shows, but some of the other shows on, on Roll for It too. You can find me all over the place here. Which isn't all over the place, but here. That's me. Um, and I'm Margaret Crone. You can find me at Margaret Crone in all of the places. Um, I always keep people updated on Twitter and Facebook whenever I go live because I do a lot of stuff. Um, on Thursday, I'll be back here on Roll For It for Ascension where we play Dungeons and Dragons, so you definitely want to tune into that. It's a lot of fun. And um, I'm currently starting an initiative called Be Better Gamers. And if you're interested in helping support, uh, basically what I'm trying to do is put together resources in order to provide... Um, or I'm putting together resources to provide these to some of the executives in our industry in order to, you know, make sure that we are all treated fairly and equally in the industry. Um, and of course, uh, I work in the video game industry. I make video games for a living. And if you want to check out the game that I'm currently working on, you can check out Ashes of Creation. Um, and for our tips today, we have Crystal Gems Hype uh, from, that's who it's from. For $20 that said, showing support for the Stellar Ministries, uh, what an incredible fusion of talents. Hashtag giant women hype. I love that. Um, and then Finley Shards with $50 says, this is amazing. Thank you for all, all uh, thank you to all of our amazing cast and our incredible GM for a wonderful gem filled evening. Really looking forward to part two. Uh, so thank you all so much. We're going to go record an after show. Um, and if you don't know what those are, you can go check them out over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash roll for it, uh, where you can see all of the goodies that we have. Um, and of course, follow us here on Twitch, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, and all of those places. We'll see you next week. <laughs>